So there's another document from the EMA Europopa assessment report on the, on the Pfizer vaccine, and it said, I'm going to quote this, data demonstrates the presence of significant amounts of truncated modified forms of mRNA at somewhat higher levels in the batches manufactured with the commercial process as compared to material used in clinical trials. These forms are poorly characterised and the limited data provided for protein expression does not fully address the uncertainties relating to the risk of translating proteins peptides other than the intended spike protein. However, when present in the cell, there is a possibility that aberrant proteins will be expressed with possibilities for unwanted immunological events. Now, while I accept the risk is low, it is still a possibility. Why has the TGA ignored this risk when marketing the vaccine as safe and effective? Um, Senator Rennick, I think you're referring to uh, what we would do in a batch analysis yeah. in terms of understanding uh, what RNA is in the vaccine and the length of the vaccine. And there are recognised uh, standards available that uh, the TGA would ascribe to before allowing that batch of vaccine to be available. That's right. But yet again, the risks haven't been highlighted. Do you accept that? Senator Rennick, so, uh, uh, Senator Rennick, again, the TGA is able to highlight risks to the consumers that have been made apparent and that are not imagined. That's right. And, and OK, can I have one more question, around. please, Chair? Yes, you can, Senator okay, so just the last one. Um, the, the Pfizer 9 clinical report talks about how the Pfizer vaccine uh, generates a CD8 response, a killer, uh, a killer T cell response. I've asked you this question pro uh, previously, uh, Mr Murphy and you've made the claim that the killer T cell will only kill the actual protein that presents on the surface membrane. I've spoken to uh, a lot of other doctors and immunologists and they've said a killer T cell will kill the entire cell. Do you accept that? I, I don't recall uh, me saying that, Senator. It might have been Professor Skerritt, but... OK, I'm well, that's fine. Do you accept that a killer T cell has the potential to, other to kill otherwise healthy cells? I'm, my immunology knowledge is a little bit dated now, but uh, I, I accept that that's a possibility. I don't know. I'd have to take that on notice and get some current immunological advice. Professor Lang is probably a bit more modern. Would well, also uh, be the same in terms of the immunological approach um, for a CD8 cell. So you don't actually understand what CD8 cells do? or Senator Anik, I understand what CD8 cells do, but in terms of your question, I would need to get some more... Uh, uh, up-to-date immunological advice. OK, so it, it's just either they kill the cell or they don't. That's, That's all not, I'm asking It's not for. actually that, uh, that cut and dried. It's a little bit more complex. So, OK, Senator, right out. Thank you. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.